All right, so here we have brimstone after its most recent bit of uh, flame work we did where we uh, set fire to some Christmas presents. Um, during that film shoot, I noticed that I had a problem. The, uh, the, the igniters uh, weren't working very well, and now they're not working at all. So um, I'd like to continue to use this one for just playing around and some of the YouTube stuff we're doing. So at this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take it apart and see if we can figure out why we don't have flame, because that's the whole point of this robot. So uh, let's pull it apart and see what's going on. So let's just figure out what's going on here. Turn that on. Obviously, everything powers up correctly. Drive says some functions like it's supposed to, but the igniters are not warming up. So these are these are the igniters right there. Okay. Okay. And when I turn them on, those should be glowing red. That's how hot they get. And they're not doing anything. So it's either somewhere in the electronics providing power to them or the igniters themselves is bad so hopefully it's just in the electronics we'll take it apart we'll find out <laughs> simple as a wire just pulled out of the radio. That would make it easy. Slide a wire in and ta-da, back to work it. Okay. Alright. Well, you see the LEDs on those things. So, like, they're blinking now. So I turn on the solenoid for the, the flame. You can see it change change mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. I don't hear the, I hear the solenoid clacking, though. Um, and, oh, okay, so the solenoid one works fine. This one is changing state, but the igniter isn't coming on. So that means the switch itself is good, which means it's probably the igniter itself that's bad. This should change state, and it does. So the igniters are getting power like they're supposed to. So it's the actual igniters that's burned up. So as I expected and was sort of afraid of, it is the igniters themselves that are bad. Um, luckily, I do have an extra set, so I can replace them. Uh, unluckily, I have to disassemble the entire flame system to get to them. So uh, I guess it's time to tear this thing apart and see if I can fix it. So here's the firebox and here's the igniters. See the, the, the fuel has to shoot out between the igniters. You don't want to hit directly on the igniter, it won't go, it won't ignite. So that's the layout. Um, I had them wired together because it's 24 volt system and they are 12 volt igniters. So 12 to 12 to 24. So I'm gonna cut them apart and we'll test them and we'll see what's going on. Okay. So, here is number one, and there is nothing. Not even a little bit of warmth there, okay. So, then we will, here's number two, and 
And look at that. So okay. that one works. Okay. Okay. So um, one of them functions, one of them doesn't. So this one's burned out, and it killed the circuit. They both have to work, or neither does. Okay. So essentially, I need to replace this one, and then I'd be good. But because they both have the same amount of hours of use, I'll probably put new ones for both of them and just save that one as a working spare. Okay. And pitch that one. So, not fun, but we're uh, in a spot to put it back together. So, I can live with this. So, these are the new ones here that I have. I got to looking at them. And they're, they're not identical, obviously. This one matches the ones that are already in the robot. So, rather than replace both of them, I'm just going to replace the one that burnt up because I have an identical one to stick in there. Um, and probably just save that as an emergency spare. And hopefully I don't have any further issues. Hopefully this just works for a while. I guess we'll get it back together and see. Crank the voltage up. This only goes up to 20, but that'll be enough to test what we need to test. Throw some power on this boy, and... They, uh... Okay, so that... One heats up and that one does not. What's going on here? That one was heating up a minute ago. All right, so here's the igniters that I've been using in Brimstone. These are these are 12 volt igniters, and I was running them in series because the robot runs at 24 volts. And we burned one out, so I'm trying to kind of figure out why. I think I figured it out. So right now, right now I got the power supply set at 10 volts. And I hook these up at 10 volts. That heats up just like it's supposed to. Ten volts. This one heats up like it's supposed to. Okay, so both of those work just like they're fine. So Typically, you would think, if I tie them in series, I should be able to run both of them at 20 volts, and each of them should see 10 volts and heat up just fine. But I do this, and only one of them heats up. Well, what I'm finding out is that even though these are identical igniters, they don't have the same resistance values. So, we should be doing a, a nice voltage divide across there with two identical items, but that's not what's happening. So this one here is 0.524 ohm resistance. This one is 0 0.678, 0.681 ohms resistance. So the resistance value between the two is off enough that one of them is seeing more voltage of that voltage divide than the other. And I think that's why I burned one out before. So what I did is I looked around and I found some 24 volt igniters. So that way I don't have to run them in series to get the voltage correct for the item. The only problem now is these ones are just physically larger than the other ones, and so i got to figure out if mounting that there is still going to ignite it correctly or not. And I guess the only thing to do now is just assemble it all and <laughs> give it a shot and see what happens. Let's see. So we got power. We're good there. The two delta switches show power. 
Make sure that's off. Okay. And they're blinking, so they got radio. They're good there. And now we'll find out. Don't change state. That should be warming up. Ha, ha, ha. There Yay. we go. All right. So... Guess we just wait and see if one of those is enough to ignite my fuel. All right, we're uh, we're back together. <laughs> a little bit of struggle to get everything back together. However, we're about ready to test. So I ended up moving the igniter to the top part instead of down underneath. That way, it'll be easier for me to change out. Should I have the issues again down the road? Um, also, this one's got just a longer tail to it. It didn't quite fit in the original position, so uh, it was more work, but I like this better, so this, this should be pretty good. We've got everything back together and assembled. We've got a battery in it for testing, so at this point in time, let's, uh, let's power it up and see what happens. All right, and no surprise there. Everything works. You can hear the gas valve working. So now the big question is the igniter. Can you see it from there? Mm -hmm. And we have an igniter. So now the big question is whether one igniter is going to be enough to start the flame. I guess the next thing to do there we put some fuel in the thing, take it outside, and see if we get flame. So, we've got glow. Hey, look at that. We got flame. I can live with that. I can live with that. Hey, fire. <laughs> it's funny, you can feel the heat. <laughs> All righty. So that's the fuel that sort of puddles in the firebox. Mm -hmm. So it takes it a minute for that to sort of like burn down. But I'd call that a success. So after a little bit of work, we have brimstone back to working. Had to do a few things along the way, but we're back to flame on. Uh, so obviously we got some new things we're going to be doing with brimstone. We'll have a few new things we're going to burn along the way. Do you guys have any suggestion on what you think needs to be on fire? Respond in the comments and let me know. <laughs>